the person fulfill the Quran. Rasulullah sallallahu alayhi wa sallam is requiring the person that fulfill the sunnahs. He says, then there are two angels sitting on my right and left. They both the whole day reminding me and requiring from me that I watch my deeds. And I make sure that my deeds are correct and good. So they are continuously throughout the day they are watching me. If I keep on doing the good things, then really I'm doing good. Otherwise, I'm not doing good that day. On top of this, he says, I have my nafs that is requiring me to fulfill these desires. And is ordering me after one after another to fulfill the desires. I'm looking at the orders of Allah. I'm looking at the sunnah of Rasulullah sallallahu alayhi wa I'm looking at these angels. And my nafs is telling me, forget about all of these and fulfill your desires. And you're asking me how I'm doing today? My nafs is asking me continuously fulfilling the desires to fulfill the desires. And if I start going after the desires, I will never be able to do what these three requirements are for me. What Allah is requiring me, what Rasulullah sallallahu alayhi wa is requiring me, and what these angels are requiring from me, I will never be able to fulfill that. And then, on top of this nafs, then I have shaitan that requires me to do all the fitnas and evils. And I have to deal, deal with him then. If I don't have to deal with this shaitan and with nafs, that was enough for me to deal with those situations and be able to fulfill those responsibilities. But on top of that, this nafs is asking me to fulfill desires, and shaitan is asking me to get into fitnas and to evils. And then, I have my family that is requiring me to fulfill their needs. This is adding to my responsibility. Now I don't know what to do. And on top of this, I find, I see that the angel of death is looking for me and at any minute is going to attack and take my soul. This is the reality of each and every human being. Allah is ordering us. Rasulullah sallallahu alayhi wa sallam is requiring us to fulfill the sharia and to follow the sunnah. The angels are watching us and they're writing each and everything we do. Always under watch. And nafs and shaitan are just after us. Do this, do that. Forget about these responsibilities. And family, they have their own requirements. And the angel of death is saying, I'm not going to wait. I'm looking for you. Just tell me the day. He says, no, I won't. Just be ready anytime. If we realize what is it that we have to deal with, what this life is all about. Who created life and death to test you to see who would do good deeds. This is the test. To see who would do good deeds after all of this. Yes, the dunya is made such. The setup of the dunya is such that it would just trap us. Just like a beautiful jungle that you are in it, you see, oh, it's very nice. Just like when people go to watch a movie, putting all the other things aside, whether it's what sin they will get, what they are going to see. When they go over there, the screen is set in such a way that everyone will just turn toward that screen and just pull attention toward that screen now. Don't look here and there, don't worry about anything else that's happening in the world. Forget about the whole world, just keep on looking at that screen there. See what's happening there. This is what dunya is all about. Is that a screen that is in the theaters that would like us just to look at it at all times. The watch is telling you, it's time for salah. The screen says, no, no, wait. There is something else coming very important here. The phone is ringing, shut it off. Appointments, forget about them, don't worry about anything. The movie is not over yet. And this movie will be over only when the angel of death will come, will take us out, we'll realize, oh, the movie wasn't over and I just, I'm gone now. How am I going to do all the other things that I was supposed to do? 
This is what this dunya is all about. This is the setup of the dunya. That we get into it, everything invites us. Everything invites us. You enter the room, family is inviting. Our comfortable couches are inviting us. Come and sit on me. The food is inviting us. Come and eat me. The work that is in the house is inviting us. Do this and do that. And the bed is inviting us. Come have some rest, sleep. Computer is inviting us. Come do this work. The TV is inviting the person. Come watch me. Everything is inviting the person. Temptations from all around. This is how the world traps the person and the person doesn't know what to do. Should I do this? Should I do my computer work? I need to watch the news. I need to have some rest. I need to eat food. I need to sit with my family. I have to do 